this is a spark in my life, the story of me overcoming adversity. Allow me to set the scene. I am nine years old, and it's 2011, and I am at Disney World with my mom. We were running from ride to ride, trying to avoid getting wet, and as we were doing that, my shoelaces become untied, and my mom says to me, Jacob, bend over and tie your shoes. But I simply couldn't. My back was so tight, and the only way for me to reach my shoes was to sit down on the ground and untie them. I had been experiencing back issues, which we thought were simply growing pains. At that point, my mom knew that there was a severe problem and that we needed help. So she found a doctor at the University of Miami that took an MRI and found a tumor on my spine. We were referred to a different doctor at Jackson Memorial Hospital, also in Miami. He performed two surgeries on my spine. However, after the second surgery, I suffered what they call spinal shock, which left me paralyzed from the waist down. After that, the doctors told me the chances of me walking again were very slim. Before this incident, I was a very active person. I played baseball and enjoyed an active lifestyle. To be told I would never walk again was a huge shock to me. In my mind, never walk again was not an option. It was not even a doubt that I was going to walk again. I just knew I needed help, and we had to find someone that would help me follow my passion of walking again. The person that helped me follow my dream to walk again was my physical therapist, Tina Morris. Me trying to, this is me working with her. After I was released from the hospital, she came to my house five days a week and to reach my help, help my goal of walking again. We started with the basics, rolling over in bed, then crawling, and eventually using a walker. After about four months of walking or of working, I got to my goal, walking independently. Four months of being told I would never possibly walk again to walking independently. But when you have a passion in life, whether it's getting into college or getting on a sports team, you need experts to help you follow your passion. It was not going to be easy, but when you have the right mindset and the right people to help you, your passion can be followed. When you have the spark of an idea, you have the big picture of what you want your idea to be. But when you break it down to its smaller parts, for example, when you want to join the baseball team, the big picture is making the team. But when you break down to its smaller parts, you have to practice, hire a personal trainer, and work on your skills, and then you have the potential to make a team. Another example is when you want to be accepted into your dream school. You have to study, get good grades, and sometimes hire a tutor to help you follow your passion. It's not a question or not of whether the person will accomplish their goal. It becomes their passion. Passion means that every day you'll work towards that goal, even a little bit. But I didn't start out trying to walk. For me, the simple step was just getting out of bed. Eventually, that led to me walking on, on my own. During the time I was learning to walk, I always visioned myself walking. Even though the landscape of my life changed negatively for a time, I never, I never lost my vision for things going back the way they were before. It's important when you have a passion to always visualize how you want things to be. Don't focus on the negatives. Keep your vision in mind. And that is the thing that will help you get to your goal, never giving up on that vision. Thank you. Thank you.